First thing y'all do when y'all cook, y'all sharpen these knives. I got all the sausage from the meat market. It's much better from the meat market. I just don't buy it from the store usually. And we're gonna chop this all up into like little small pieces. Cause tonight we are making chicken and sausage spaghetti as requested by the man of the house who works his ass off. And so whatever he wants for supper, that's what he gets. I don't know why I didn't get deep on chicken thighs already, but I didn't. So I just skinned them and I'm gonna cut all this off the bone. Best advice I can give anybody after doing that is to make sure you get deep on chicken, then you don't have to go through that fiasco I just went through. But now I'm gonna chop this up. It's about two pounds of chicken and it has almost two pounds of sausage in here. So now I got all this chicken. Oh, I'm gonna just put this on the side and go wash off my cutting boards and everything. And then I'm gonna start cutting all my vegetables. And next we're gonna chop up two onions and one bell pepper and I have frozen celery in the freezer because I had got it a bunch of it and didn't use it. So celery, onions, bell pepper, that's the Cajun Trinity and that's what you put in everything before you start like your dish. I hate onions so much. Through the magic of editing, we're done with that. If y'all have seen my videos before, then you know that I like to make spaghetti with a roux. I'm gonna start with a hot pan and a cup of oil, and I'm gonna add about three quarter cup of flour into this and start making my roux. It'll be thinner than I want it to be when I start, and then I'll just add flour as I go, figure out how much I need. And I'm gonna do this on like a semi-medium heat. The more experienced you are with a roux, you can play with it a little bit more, but if you don't know what you're doing, I would suggest keeping it on low and just going low and slow. Also, I got this cool little bamboo scraper from the Dollar General for like a dollar, which is like perfecto. See that bubbling? That's what you want. And if you're not scraping it like this, you ain't doing it right. And you're just gonna get this to a golden, like darker brown. You gotta get somebody to help you stir every now and then sometimes. It's getting brown. In a separate skillet over here, we got some oil and we're gonna brown down our chicken and sausage. So this roux is brown enough. It's gonna be a red gravy, so it doesn't really matter. And we're gonna dump all the vegetables in. It's gonna cool it off a good bit, so we can get them all tender. And while I do this, I'm gonna have my son over here throwing the chicken and the sausage. You gotta get the sausage too, boo boo. Go. Dropping all the sausage in. He's gonna put the chicken in, and it doesn't matter. We're not cross contaminating. It's all gonna be cooked together. Doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. Two cans of tomato paste goes in here. See how it's getting darker and the vegetables are getting more tender. We're just gonna cook this down with two cans of paste. Got this whole can of rotel we're dropping in. After you cook that for a minute, I got a half of one of these of chicken broth. Now you see how thick this is? It's like a paste. Dump in a whole can of diced tomatoes. The roux makes this like a much creamier, more depth of flavor spaghetti. And um, now we're putting in two cans of tomato sauce. Two cans of water going in, a two tomato chip paste can. Slap you some garlic in there. On yon powder and some T-Boys Cajun seasoning. About a tablespoon or two of sugar. I'm gonna add a little bit more water to this because it's really thick and it's got to cook for a little while right now we're going to carefully dump all this meat that's just juice from the meat no big deal into this pot all right sometimes when you're cooking we all got to learn together that sauce is way too much for four pounds of meat so i'm adding two pounds of chicken thighs i'm gonna have to go ahead and brown these up and then i'm gonna add them it happens Last night we had BLT, so I have all this leftover lettuce because I bought a big head of lettuce. I got these cherry tomatoes, two cucumbers, and this, and I have feta cheese that I'm just gonna make a side salad to go with the spaghetti. Chopping up all these cucumbers, and in a minute, chop up the tomatoes and the orange bell pepper, and we will be good to go on the salad. All right, I ate one, I'm sorry. I've never tried this, there's this plate method this is not a plate, but we're going to try it where you just like put it like this and then like this could be a whole disaster, y'all. I don't know. To cut your tomatoes in half, you like hold them down and then go all the way through. I'm so 
clean this up so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay. And we will put the feta cheese on it later so it doesn't get all soggy or whatever. So let it cook for about 30 minutes while I cook the noodles and it will be done. And it's also enough to feed a small army, so I'm sure I'm gonna freeze some of this, give some to my parents, all that. Toss this, toss this salad, giggity. And now we wait. Do it. <laughs> He's gonna put olives in this salad. Yeah, toss it. <laughs> toss that salad. Shut the. <laughs> Now y'all see why I'm like I am. Now go cook your noodles according to the package directions. And if you can't follow those directions, I can't help you. He is cooking the pasta. Y'all know how y'all supposed to test y'all noodles? <laughs> I believe it's done. All right, normally I would show y'all a plate, but I ain't going to do that because I'm going to let this cool off a good bit. And I'm going to throw my pasta in it, mix it all together, and serve it like that. And we got our big salad. Everybody's happy. And that's how you cook Cajun chicken sausage and spaghetti. Sasebo.